This is MIP. Joining us now, ladies and gentlemen, as promised, Diamond and Silk are joining us via Skype. Diamond and Silk, how are you both? Wonderful. Now, I don't know which is which. Which one of you is Diamond and which one is Silk? I'm Diamond You're and Diamond. I'm Silk. All right, wonderful. Well, well, thank you both for being with us. How are you today? Oh, we're wonderful. Great. Where do you two, um, where do you two live? In North Carolina. In North Carolina. Is that home? This yes, is home, North that's Carolina. Right. Okay, okay, wonderful. So, uh, I know we don't have a lot of time, but let's get right to the point. Um, a lot of controversy right now. Pastor Burns. Pastor Burns was on with me Friday, by the way. And when okay. he was on the air, by the end of the conversation, he agreed that the candidate you all support, Donald Trump, should moderate his tone toward African Americans. Some of the things he's saying is not very appealing. Are you all completely in support of the way Donald Trump is speaking to African Americans right now? Or do you agree that there's room for improvement in terms of the way he talks to African Americans? I am in complete support with the way Donald Trump tone is. For so long, we have had uh, America, African American leaders sugarcoat what's going on in the African American community and nothing gets done. Mm -hmm. I am okay. He's telling them, what do you have to lose? What do you have to lose by giving me a chance? Because you've been voting Democrat for all of these years and they're still handing you the crumbs. Nobody is reaching for the for the stars anymore. Right. We just hold our hand down and just give us a, some crumbs and we think that's okay. And we have we still have these same black leaders to tell black people to continue to vote the same way. Mm -hmm. So Donald Trump's tone don't need to change. Don't sugarcoat it because up under all that sugar ain't nothing but mess. And we got to clean up the mess first, baby. And then you can sprinkle a little sugar on it. That's right. Okay. Now, but he's saying, and he's talking to us saying, y'all don't have any jobs. Your schools are terrible. You're getting shot. Do you really think that that is going to attract African Americans to your candidate? Well, it's the it's truth. Happening. It's happening. Yes. People are saying, "Wait a minute, he's telling the truth." That's <clears right. throat> who, who, now, who? Ma wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Say, let me, let me, say, let me, say, I'm gonna say. do like the man on TV says. Who? Who says that? <laughs> well, hey, let me tell you something. When you look at Chicago, Baltimore, and Detroit, mm -hmm. people are getting shot in those places. People don't have jobs in those places, and people are living in poverty. Just the other week in Milwaukee, we seen them burn down their community. That's right. We saw one black boy hollering out, the rich people won't bring us no money. See, those people wasn't crying out because of somebody getting shot. Those people was crying out because they're tired of people living in poverty. It's time for people to come up. Now, maybe you live behind the picket fences mm -hmm. in your suburb and you're not getting shot. But people are experiencing this and it's time for someone to speak for those people exactly. because they don't have a voice. So if Donald Trump can be their voice, let him be their voice. If he can go and clean up the hood, I'm OK with That's that. Right. So say it the way you need to say it. That's so, right. But how is someone, Davin and Silk with us, folks, how is someone who is winning the support of members of the KKK and the white nationalist movement, how on earth can he be expected then to do anything in good faith for the black community? Why would we even believe that? He's got David Duke endorsing him. He's got these white nationalists and the alt-right who say terrible things about African-Americans. Steve Bannon. But didn't the KKK just give Hillary Clinton $20,000 yeah. to her campaign? The KKK, yeah, the KKK. The KKK. They donated $20,000 to Hillary Clinton campaign. That, she not, gave that that's money not, back. That's no, not she true. Did she give that money back? But it's she not didn't. true. They didn't give 20. I do know it's not true. Well, I looked, yeah, I looked it up. Her so, you know, I, we looked it up. It's not true. How do you know what it's you do? You Google it. You Google it because you know I Google did. it. And, and on Google it says it's not true. But see, and here's the deal. Donald Trump cannot help who so, endorses Snopes, it. Oh, let me see. Snopes.com says that's not true. That's okay, just something okay. But okay. Diamond and Silk is going to say this here. Okay. D D D Donald Trump cannot help who embrace his campaign. That's right. But Hillary Clinton can help who she embraced when she embraced it in the bird who was a KKK but member. He apologized right. for that. He, he hated he, he, black no, no, people. No, but he apologized. He hated black people. Bird he did not changed, like black people. But Bird changed. David Duke didn't. Well, how do you know David Duke didn't change? Who? 
who? Yes, yeah, as who? David Duke is still what? a white nationalist. He's still, How do you he's know? still, How do you know? he, he his rhetoric know? is still the rhetoric of white nationalism and the KKK. He's not changed at all. But Donald Trump Robert can't help Byrd who endorsed and he for what he said and did. Hold up. Donald Trump has denounced David Duke. He, he still denounces when, David now, Duke. Now, when did that happen? Uh, well, he's been doing it all over all the TV. Along. Yeah. All along. Right. Donald he's Trump these, has publicly he's denounced not for David these Duke. KKK members endorsing him. He's not for that. I've not, and seen, I I've not seen video of Donald Trump denouncing okay. David but Duke. Is, but see, this is what we're talking about. Hold on, hold on, Phil. Okay, okay. This is what we're talking about. <laughs> you are, wait, no, I, I'm trying not to be passionate. Yeah, I'm a real black girl. But, 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 but Silk wants to talk. Why don't you let Silk say something? If she wants to say something, don't cut. Okay, so you want to say what I want to say. Go ahead and say it. But this is what gets me. Black people, people of color, African Americans, they always go on these little sound bites that the left wing media say. They don't look and listen for themselves, but they go on these little sound bites and they run with that. Let me tell you something. If he can come and clean up the hood, then why not vote for him and give him a chance? But you all, you sitting up, well, what about who endorsed him? We can't help who endorsed you. Hookers may want to endorse your radio show. Can we help you that? Said, you said Should hookers. we blame you? I said hookers. That's, that's what I said. Right. Should we blame you? Should right. we, if, we, if a drug dealer want to come and make a donation, should I blame you for that? I call you a drug dealer? Can I, should I blame Diamond. you for that? Diamond. That's right. Diamond. Also, oh, oh. keep in mind that it was a Democrat. Keep in mind it was the Democrats that wanted to extend slavery. It was the Democrats that started the KKK. And the Jim Crow and the Jim Crow to intimidate but, but black you know, it flipped, right. it flipped so it after 1965. You, you both know that. You both are intelligent enough to know historically it flipped. It's not the Republican Party. Oh, became, it, started, it, it started, started with the Democratic Party. But wait a minute, but I said it flipped in 1965. I said it flipped in 1965. In 1965. Where did it start? Yeah. Okay. So let me ask you this. Let me ask you this because I'm curious since you were doing this. Tell me about the two of you. What? So, Diamond, you're kind of the person who goes out front, and and Silk, you kind of like the um, um, the hype person, right? You women, hold up, hold up. Is that the way it works? I'm not trying to be offensive. I just the way y'all part of the show. I'm really not trying to be offensive. I'm just asking how you all do your thing. Diamond, I'm a person. I'm very passionate about what I'm talking about. Of course you are. I seen, hold on. I seen too much stuff play out on my TV with black folks living in poverty, black folks in Chicago not coming up, black folks burning down their community, black folks not having the same opportunities as white folks. Yeah. I've seen that and that bothers me. That's so right. I'm speaking out. If we have somebody, the billionaire that can come in and clean up these communities, then why not vote for him? That's so right. I'm passionate I'm and not, I'm real not, not, I'm, I'm just trying to see how you about. all do your, do, do your thing. Because honestly, some people say, and I want you to respond to this. Some people say that the two of you are really an act. Now, you have to admit, you all are entertaining. Okay, so w what is your response when people say that the two of you are an act? That's why I'm asking kind of Silk what your role is, because I know you're trying to say something and Diamond didn't let you. D does she not let you talk enough, Silk, or, or what? What's, what's the deal with it? <laughs> I have a voice. I know it's how not. to speak. But just like Vanna White stay in her lane and do her own thing yes, with turning those letters, I know how to stay in my lane and do my own thing. I do what I'm good at. Let me so tell God, you something. What, what, what's your I'm response sorry. when people say, you, what's your not response? Act. Okay, we are yeah, two women. Okay. We are two women and we're supporting Donald J. Trump. That's right. We're supporting Donald J. Trump because we are tired of being handed crumbs. Exactly. How about bringing somebody in like Donald Trump that has the ingredients that can show you how to make a cake and then you can sit down and have your a slice of your own cake. That's right. I don't need you giving me a hand out. How about giving us a hand, hand up? up? People want opportunity. That's so right. for me, I, we're just supporters, baby. That's we right. support Donald J. Trump and, and what he's talking about. Especially since Bill Clinton signed that crime bill into law that have thousands of black men locked up. Then whenever they get out of jail, they have a felony against their record and they can't even find a job. But then along came Donald Trump, want to put things in place. So when you get out of jail, they won't give you a job. You can create your own job. That's right. That's how's Donald right. Trump going to get people? How's he going to help people create their own? I mean, what is he going to do? But what is Go ahead, go so ahead. So whenever ahead. he lowered these taxes and give you incentives to be able to create your job, you don't have to be looking for somebody to give you a job because you can't get one thanks to Bill Clinton, a uh, crime bill that he signed into law. There's a lot of different things that's going to be in place for African-Americans to come up, especially when illegal immigration stops. 
so that the black man can at least find him a job and don't have to hand it off to someone here illegally. And the, well, when the craziest well, well, thing you know that's that kind of black people, black and brown against each other. But go ahead, go ahead. We ain't nobody putting black and brown against each other. No. What we're talking about is illegal immigrants. When you when you go break the law. They jail you for it. That's so right. how is it that we're okay for illegal people crossing our border and we don't know who these people are? Exactly. Don't you secure your house? I'm not done. Ain't that White House secure? That's well, right. why isn't America House secure? We got to know who's walking among us. We just can't have nobody walking up in our house. Yeah. If you like that, then keep your doors unlocked so we can walk up in your house. Do, 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 did either of you vote for President Obama? Listen, I did what we were taught to do. That's right. We were taught to vote for whoever the head was on the ticket, and that's what we did. Exactly. Now that we've done that, we're not crying over spilled milk. How about bringing somebody like in like Donald Trump that can clean up the milk, baby? That's Bring right. back some opportunity. I know we're almost out of time. What, what do the two of you do for a living? What, what do you do? We are video vloggers. We vlog about everything that we don't like, especially when it comes to media biasness. But, but how do you make a living? We make a living doing our video, exactly. video vloggers. We are video vloggers is what we do. So like, how do you get paid for that? I'm just curious. Are you familiar with YouTube? Yeah. Oh, so you, oh, oh. I got you. So you do the YouTube. Okay, I got you. I understand. Okay. All I, right. I, that's, that's fine. Um, you all have children. You have families. I'm just curious. I just want to know a little bit about you. Are you two? Well, if we was, if we are here, you got to know we have a we mom have and a daddy. We just didn't come out the sky. That's no, no. Right. I mean, do you have children yourselves? Do you have your own families and offspring? We have fa we do we have, have families. families. You have children? We, we have, have families. families. <laughs> <laughs> do you the two of you have do you two live together? No. no. How, but are you two related at all? Are you just, just We're friends? We're sisters. We're, We're blood sisters. sisters. Oh, you are? I didn't Oh, forgive me, you're biological sisters. But you okay, I got you. Okay. Well look, um, we were a little bit delayed because we wanted to get this technically right. Uh, I would like to keep the lines of communication open. I hope I have not been antagonistic or disrespectful to you. You have no. You, have, okay. you was you've been a dear, and we yes, love you for that. Thank you. Thank well, well, God you bless you it. both. But I just want my audience to be exposed to you. Let's talk again soon. Okay, okay. we Most will definitely. And just see what's. I know you had to go on another interview, but you know, let's have some more conversations. All right. Okay, we will. God bless you, folks. Diamond and Silk, folks, here with us. Thank you both very, very much. We'll be back. Thanks. This is M I P.